this video, I'm going to explain how to stress English words. Knowing which syllables to stress and unstress in words is crucial to speaking understandable English. English words are composed of a few different things pronunciation-wise. There is, of course, the individual sounds, the consonants and the vowels that make up a word, but there is also more to it than that. We combine those sounds into syllables. A syllable must have a vowel sound and may also have consonant sounds before and or after the vowel sound. In addition, to correctly pronounce a word, you must know its stress pattern. Basically, which syllables are stressed and which are not. You need to be aware of just how important this concept is. Native English speakers recognize words primarily based on their stress pattern. So you need to get that right, even more so than accurately pronouncing the sounds in the word. Since it's extremely important to correctly stress words in English, mastering this skill should be a main focus for you in improving your English pronunciation. And as you acquire new vocabulary, make sure to learn the stress patterns of your new words. Let me give you some examples. Let's take a look at some simple English food words. The word lemon has two syllables. Le Mun. When I say it, do you hear the first or second syllable stand out as being loudest and longest? Lemon. The first, correct? So in this case, le is the stressed syllable and mun is the weak syllable. Lemon. It's not pronounced lemon or lemon. Got it? It needs to be lemon. Let's try another. Soda. This word also has two syllables. Soda. Which syllable is the stress syllable? Listen as I say it. Soda. The first again. Soda. Are you hearing it? If I say it stressing the second part, do you recognize the word? Soda. What if I pronounce it with equal stress on both syllables? Soda. It's not so understandable, is it? It doesn't even sound like English anymore. The correct pronunciation is soda. Let's try it now with a longer word. Banana. How many syllables do you hear? Banana. You hear three, correct? Ba, na, na. Which syllable is the stress syllable? Banana. It's the middle one, correct? Banana. Now you may be thinking, I've never heard people speak English like that. Well, you're right. I'm exaggerating a little so you can really hear it. But I want you to pay attention to how natives really pronounce words. Try to hear it for yourself. The difference is small, but it's an important one. Now let me give you a little quiz. How many syllables do each of the following words have? And which syllable is the stress syllable? You'll find the answers in the comment section below the video. Leave me a comment on how you did. I'd love to hear from you. Now here's your quiz. Coconut. Coconut. Tomato. Tomato. Avocado. Avocado. Nectarine. Nectarine. Asparagus. Asparagus. Now that was quick, 
Please listen to it again and again until you can correctly identify both the number of syllables and the stress syllable. Thanks for watching.